Hey everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. I have some sad news for Australian dual sport fans. The new Kawasaki KLX 300 will not be coming to Australia. This also includes the KLX 300 Super Motard. And to make it worse, it won't be coming to Europe either. Sorry everyone. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. So the alarm bells have been there from the start, but it doesn't make the hurt any better. When Kawasaki first mentioned the KLX 300, it did seem strange that there was no mention of the motor being Euro 5 compliant. Kawasaki Australia also said straight away that it did not meet Australian ADR requirements and quote, but we're looking into options available. Now, I have received direct word from Kawasaki Australia that the KLX 300 will not pass ADR and is not being imported to Australia because it is not suitable. Okay, let's break this down as this wording says a few things to me. I was initially confused as to why the KLX 300 wouldn't pass ADR. I mean, the KLX 250S is ADR compliant and Kawasaki Australia are continuing to sell the 250S in the future. The new KLX 300 is practically the same motorcycle with the stroked engine. I mean, to get a motorcycle street legal and ADR compliant in Australia, you can basically put a light on a Peewee 50 and it's good to go. Now, I'm certainly no guru when it comes to ADR legislation and there are people out there who know way more than me, but I have a reasonable idea and I've done some digging to try and figure out why the new Kalex 300s aren't coming to Australia. For those who aren't aware, Australia allows you to register a massive range of dirt bikes. For example, a Yamaha WR450F is street legal in Australia and has been ever since it came out in the early 2000s. If a bike has a headlight, indicators, rear brake light, license plate holder, speedo and horn, it's street legal. I mean, a KTM 300EXE is street legal in Australia and it's pretty much a motocross bike with lights. What you can't do is add all those items to say a CRF 450R motocross bike and make it street legal. It has to come from the factory like that and be ADR compliant. So why is a WR450F compliant but not the new KLX 300? Well, I have found the answer everyone. As of November 2019, Australian law mandated that new road registrable motorcycles must be equipped with anti-lock braking, ABS, as standard. These new laws brought Australia in line with Europe and Japan. So this still doesn't answer the question as to why that cheeky WR450F can get registered, but not the new KLX 300. Well, the WR450F is an enduro bike and enduro bikes don't require ABS in Australia. Predominantly off-road bikes also don't require ABS. Unfortunately, the KLX isn't an enduro bike, it's a dual sport. Since the KLX 300 is a dual sport, it's not exempt from having ABS, so it's not coming. So you're probably thinking, why don't Kawasaki just put ABS on the bike and be done with it? My guess is, at the moment, they don't think they're going to sell enough of them. Plus, they need to sell all the old KLX 250Ss. Reading into the legislation, the KLX 250S won't be ADR compliant after 2021, and you can guarantee they won't be putting ABS on that. Could the KLX 300 and SM come to Australia in the future? Hell yes, I think it could. I mean, the KLX 230 has ABS, so there's no reason Kawasaki might not pop ABS on the KLX 300 for, say, 2022. For those in Europe, well, that's a whole different situation. I don't think you're ever going to get it. So would you like to see the KLX 300 in Australia? I've gotten a ton of emails and messages about it, so I think there is demand for it. If you do, let me know in the comments below. All right, catch us later, everyone. Keep it on the back wheel and hit that subscribe button. Catch us.